Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! <laughs> I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. Wow! That's my picture. It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Eh? What? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down. Oh. Up, down. Daddy Pig down. likes jumping up and down. <laughs> down. Up, Everyone down. likes up, jumping up and down. Up, down. Up. Look, it's Mr. Potato. Mrs. Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, apple, orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple, pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry! George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, Bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK, raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Blue! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win! Hello, Candy! Hello. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. 
orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> This is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Pepper. Where? Oh, <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. <laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm. Let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going! Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop! Well done, children! Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um... I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. 
read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madam Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be taught. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Colors of the rainbow. That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon, all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look! A little bridge! Just like in your fish tank! Ho, ho, ho! You're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here. Except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins! Wow! George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr. Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <coughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. <laughs> Bye-bye, Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? 
Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, oh no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah. And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Mm. Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <laughs> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa, it is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> And we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. The pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Now for step two. We lift it into the car. <laughs> The pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello! Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service! Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> we start the castle tour here, at the cannon. Ooh. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. 
Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet. Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. <gasps> Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Why don't you make Susie a going away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Pepper. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> It is morning, and Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. And I'll miss you, Pepper. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> We are both a bit bossy. <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait. I made you a going away card. Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. There. Finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star. That's fantastic, Peppa. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> 
playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Peppa, not for grown-ups. There, Peppa. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Peppa. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. <laughs> I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall, so you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, While Peppa three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <coughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <coughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody, cookies. <laughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. <laughs> Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? <sniffs> yes, lots, but it 
doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. <whistles> oh, what's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. <laughs> Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky the Budgie. Hello, Binky. Can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me! 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 Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Pepper and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No. But we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot. Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> It is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes, I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. Mummy Pig has finished her work. Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah.
And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard? But the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But, of course, the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh! We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> What's the rainy day game? I'll show you. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. 
George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. <laughs> Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. <laughs> OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh! The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! I got a packet of flower seeds for each of you. <laughs> now, we need a nice sunny spot to plant your seeds. Here we are. Grandpa Pig is digging Pepper and George's garden. Oh! Ah! Tea for the workers. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Uh, what's going on? We're making a flower garden. Do we need a flower garden? Yes! yes. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. But I always read my newspaper here. There are more important things than newspapers, Daddy Pig. Yes, like flowers. Look, Daddy. <laughs> Pepper has lots of flower seeds. George only has one flower seed. Oh. But it is quite a big seed. <laughs> Could you fetch us some water, Daddy Pig? Hmm. OK. Seeds need water to grow. They get very thirsty. Some little birds have come to watch. Don't let the birds eat the seeds, Peppa. Shoo! Shoo! Fly away, birdies! Here's the water. Daddy scared the birds away. Oh, ho, ho. Daddy Pig looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? Don't worry, Peppa. I'll make sure the birds don't eat the seeds. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh, OK, Peppa. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! That is not music, that is just noise. Anybody can bang, 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 but to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop! <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! 
Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madame Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. Madame Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. What about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. That's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. Oh! George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And 
And now Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo-choo! <whistles> the bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no! There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh! Now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. Oh, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, Tallyvoo. Oh, something's wrong with the phone. Il fait la Grande Bretagne. Il y a de la pluie, du soleil. The phone's talking nonsense. Hello, comment allez-vous? Hello, monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, I thought as much. <laughs> Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. Last stop, all change. That's Delphine's train. Get up! Delphine! Bonjour. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness! Is that huge case for Delphine? Yes. Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water... <coughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> Oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. <coughs> Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone! Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello George. Ah. Oh. Who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig! 
You're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. <laughs> Is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown ups to surf. Woohoo! <laughs> your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers. Pretty dresses. <coughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <coughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. 
Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. Ooh. He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, he swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! <laughs> Stop, Peppa. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana! That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We are here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden? Eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Peppa. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, oh no, Pepper. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa. For your compost tape. What a good idea.